I just finished the wreck and I'm surprised how much I love this game. I saw it on Twitter one day and I thought this was like really interesting and it really delivered. The wreck is a mature 3D visual novel about sisterhood, motherhood, and grief and survival. Players follow a failed screenwriter, Junan, as she attempts to make it through the most pivotal day in her life, navigating difficult conversations and piecing together where things went wrong with her mother in critical condition and her mind at the point of collapse, Junan must relive her past, alter the present, and embrace the future or else her story will end in a wreck. Now this is a visual novel, so there's not much gameplay is really limited. It is all through dialogue choices and optional interactive text where you can get more out of the story that way. I, th I, I have a feeling that the art style and the minimal animations might turn people off. The animation was a bit jarring at first for me, but it grew on me. Because when they talk, their mouths move, and then it's just one static little thing. It kind of reminds me of As Dust Falls, but not uh, more realistic. The VO for Junan did a great job conveying so many emotions that she goes through, and we see the others in the cast did a great job too. Throughout the story, I found myself disliking her, just the way she was treating people and going about uh, doing it the wrong way. But the more I played, the more I understood, and then she changes her mind. I like the Easter eggs in the real life name drops because it felt right and it makes it more grounded. Like they name drop How to Train Your Dragon, uh, a video game, Night Call. This is a decently long game, but trekking along at five hours. At some at points, it felt like I was watching a movie, but I was so engaged with the story I wanted to keep seeing what we would uncover. This is a perfect game to play with someone that isn't really into games. After the credits rolled, I saw you can experience the game's story as a novel, which is a really neat idea, and it ties in with Junan being a screenwriter. And it, it does have a warning because it deals with heavy topics, and I'm glad they put the warning have problems with motion sickness there is an option to turn some stuff off like the crashes you can see that crash a lot and it does feel like it gets long in the tooth that way but i think like it's a good way to reset and then see what she's doing it's like she's running away from problems with the achievements there are 12 and two are missable but there is chapter select so if you miss them you can mop them up pretty pretty easily the rest are story related and ending related. So this is an easy 1k, but it requires more work from what we're used to on other visual novels in this game. And I'm glad they didn't do that where you can just skip the text or somebody can just do it really quickly, give you all the options to choose and get you all the achievements that way. Because if they made it super easy like those other games, Everybody would be missing out on a great game. I highly recommend this one. Check it out. This is available on... It'll be on, available on Steam, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, Xbox. I hope you check it out. And like, comment, subscribe if you like this video. And I'll see you in the next one.